Hello, and this is Joanne from Canadian Grooming Distributor. Today I'm actually going to set in the pineapple trim. So you can see it's actually been grown out for about four months now. And we're going to set it in on film for you. So I haven't even trimmed her body yet, um, just so you could see the difference. I used a two comb last time, I'm going to do the same thing again. So on a wall trimmer, so stainless steel, number two or three eighths of an inch. She's been washed and dried in K9 competition crisp shampoo because I want that little bit of a fluff to her. Actually we will leave that on just so you don't go anywhere. So just going to quickly fuzz this off. I'm going with the grain. You can still see the lines but the lines are quickly erasing which is good because it was crooked last time. You know if I was really happy with my design I probably would actually use that to reset in the lines. Um, my dogs don't normally go this long between grooming, but we had a, a missed appointment and I figured it would make a good video, so. Yeah. I'm gonna expose the little butt cheek there. And then I think I'll move the camera angle up so that you guys can see me setting in the lines. Alright, hang on. Okay, so now we're ready to set in our lines and start. So, to set my lines, I'm actually going to use a string and some chalk. Now, instead of being um, actual, you know, hair chalk, hair chalk, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use um, like a finishing powder. The one I am going to use is Plush Puppy simply because I want to be able to scissor it. I don't want to have a funny feeling on the coat. So if I was to use like a texturizing powder or something, I just feel like it would be too, um, oops, <laughs> it would be too uh, powdery feeling, too gross feeling, would be something I'm comfortable sending the dog home. Might even make them look not their normal color. I just get that all over my arm. Whereas this stuff is more of a shiny finish, I guess. It'll be good enough to achieve what I'm wanting to do. So I'm just put some powder in a cup and rubbing my string in it right now. I'm trying not to get it everywhere. And now I've got to touch the dog again. Hey, Abbers. Hopefully your dog stands still, because that, that would be very, very handy. You stay there. Because I need her, if she's curving, her lines are going to be off, right? She's probably curving because I'm talking, so I might be quiet during this part. Got my string. And dip your string as much as you feel you need to. Let's hope you don't move. Now if you screw up in your lines you can just simply use your trimmers and do differently or you can redo them. Oh, that was off. It's hard for me to tell I'm off to a side because the camera's there. My mistake I did last time was in my other crossway. I um, I didn't look at the shape and they ended up being not a perfect square or, or um, what do you call it, diamond shape. That one feels off to me. That's yeah, a little bit off. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these in before I draw. Well, you know what, I could probably draw the other ones in. Let's do it differently. Let's wing it, shall we? Okay, so first one, I should match the axis of the other one, right? Does that kind of match? So this next one is the important one. Because it needs to be... There, that's much better. Looks argyle. What the heck, hey? Turn your head, please. 
So I'm going to try and wing this one, and I might have to adjust it. Oh, I like the look of that. Okay. So next is cutting in. I'm using a, a Wall Lee Pro. I am going to set it on a 40. You could do a 15 or whatever. I just find it cuts really nice on a 40. So I'm going to start following my lines. I'm going to go at an angle straight down into the... This is the dog. I'm going to go and just edge like this very carefully. You don't want to be scooping or none of that. Just very lightly, okay? You also um, don't want to comb the hair yet because it starts messing with your head on the design. You know, and I should have done another one. Yeah. We're gonna guess on the doesn't help that I'm on a time frame today. The owner's coming at a set scheduled time, so and I have their other dog to finish. Whoops. See, I'm slightly under that one. Hopefully it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to ask her to straighten her head for this part, though. Because I feel like I'm... So my string line is a little off, so I'm going to use my eyeball instead. Now you could probably... I, I stopped mine last time just on the top jacket, but I felt like it should have went farther. So I am going to follow it around a little bit this time. Especially, can you see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. I technically can't do that very well. But hold your head straight. Good girl. That angle looks funny. So I'm going to set this one first. And then I'm going to go off of this one, because I like this line. You see how easy this is? It's really not that hard. It looks so intimidating, I know it does. I was scared to death to try it last time. Now, I, now I'm excited. I don't know if I'd want to do this on a wiggly dog, though, I have to say. Number one question, oops, crap. Okay, can you see what I did there? I followed my stupid chalk line, <laughs> so now I'm getting squished. So, I don't know if I can fix that or not. Nope, 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 nope. Stay there. I'm going to try, because perhaps I didn't cut down all the way. And then as it grows in, I'm going to tweak it. I'll have to probably make a note to myself. This is why it's good to, to stop chatting and actually look at what you're doing. I was just following the lines there for a while, so I wasn't really, so there, there. It's easy just to follow lines, so I guess if you get your line really perfect, you got easy breezy. Beautiful cover girl, right? That's a little wonky. Head straight, baby girl. Good girl. I don't know if I'll ever get this straight. Maybe I should teach my dog to sit. Now, my second line of chalk seems to be getting faded. I almost might redo it a little bit just because I'm having trouble seeing where I'm supposed to go on some of these spots on the sides. So then I would look at this angle. I'm not talking to you.
could also just touch it really lightly if you're really worried and then go back and be a bit more because you do have to go back and kind of clean up the lines after anyways so yeah that is an option because now I can see how crooked that chalk line is so it makes me glad I didn't start it already oops same with this one round dog straight blade what did you get for rushing one two I'm going to move that one so roughly there, there, probably here. Okay. I'm telling you though, even if you mess it up though, after you polish it, especially if you put a little bit of sparkle in there, dogs moving around, it looks so cool. That's the fun part. So this one's a little bit off again. I really should watch what I'm doing. Turn it. Look in the camera. Oh, not bad. It looks worse than real life. I'm keeping her from moving her head right now because she's the reason I keep mucking up. I'm just winging it now. <laughs> okay, I'm, the left side seems to be my way worse side. Definitely way worse. Okay, so you, one, two, three, about there. Oops, it's a little bit close for my taste. See, my sizes seem to be changing. I'll slowly get it right. All right, not bad. Got a little bit more to do on this side. I've got one that's kind of wonked, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and clean up some of these lines, because they're not done quite to the skin. And I'm just basically trying to get the hair to be cut right down to the skin so that it shows the pattern, holds the pattern longer. You will be able to um, tweak it to some degree. During this time you can make spots wider or less wide. Crisp up edges. I'm not sure how long of hair you can get away with. I just chose a long enough. I've seen it with really, really short hair. And because her hair changes color, I just thought it looked really pretty. So, you know what? I am going to comb her though. I'll take a lot of this out and you can see what it starts looking like. <laughs> You'll also see my mistakes. It's really coming out now. So, now I've got an okay diamond pattern right here. Okay, right there. Oh, don't look. This 
one doesn't follow through. Good girl, sweetie. You dared. Got a little chubby in there. Probably could have, this one's, that line is crooked. See, I'm feeling like I, like I messed up here, like this is too big of a section. Um, but I can't change it, so I'm going to leave it. But I almost feel like it needs another line through there or something. But I was looking at where it met up more than anything else. I'm curious whether some more hair can come off this or not. Not bad. Okay. Let's keep going. Still that line doesn't want to be very visible. This is probably where the, when I do the glue and the glitter comes in handy because you can actually see. It's just the angle at which it's wanting, not wanting to cut the hair, so I'm going to go a different angle. There we go. Cut more hair, that's the trick. Oh, I have to turn on my air conditioner. 
shit again. Hot. Hey, pumpkin, are you warm? Good girl. I like that side a little bit better. So it's coming along. I'll just give you a progress. Shot is left side. Back. There's the right side. That right side's not looking really striking. So I realized her hair is not as voluminous as it would have been, but I had used, um, I used F and T, because she was really quite gross, and I think it's adding a little bit of weight, because her hair would be normally fluffier than this. So you can see what I mean by this is too, way too big of a section, it pops out, it, it should have been that big. I hesitate to throw another line in there though. It'll look way off. This is <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently hang on to your dog. <laughs> Cause I just made a nice little Nice little spot that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Amber's. Amberlicious. At least it's kind of where your collar's gonna sit. No one's getting noticed, right? So we're gonna make this a little bigger and make it look like it's supposed to be there. Yes, we are. Right? No one will know. Nobody will know. Alright. So, just like any creative detailing thing. The finishing work. It's all in the finishing work. You can spend quite a bit of time goofing around with this. If I had the time, which I don't, I would, you know, let her go down for a bit, have a break, whatever, and then pull her back up and do some more goofing around. As it is, I don't have a lot of time. So, I will tidy it up a little bit and then I will show you how I decorate and then perhaps we'll do when she comes back we'll do a touch up and I'll video that too you guys can learn with me how's that okay so this line I don't like this line I'm hoping by cutting off this extra hair hanging over It'll help it to stay more distinct. I could probably shorten her hair a little bit. That's probably what it is. I'm, I'm wanting it to have that 3D effect, so that's why I'm leaving her hair longer and not cutting it shorter. You can kind of see all my screw ups, but oh well. like that one. That one. There's lots of them. Lots of them today. Apparently don't do creative when you're in a hurry.
Thank goodness your mommy's a good mommy and will let me do whatever, so. Okay. I'm getting out of time, so I'm going to quickly show you what I would do. So this is what I did last time. I took some, some Elmer's glue because it is safe, non-toxic. I took a little container and I mixed it up with, with sparkles. So I, that's how I had the pink in there. Um, it was really hard to do. I, I was getting hair all over my brush, all that kind of stuff. Um, you could alternatively spray airbrush something in. Uh, you can use the Bawa Bling and Glue Bling in there, which is much more time consuming. I did think about doing it at each point, but it will really show how quick... Well, maybe I could make it look straighter. But I was thinking it would make it show how crooked it is. But I was thinking. So, um, yeah. I do like the glitter idea. I did it last time. I'm just layering some of this. All right. Okay. I'm going to pause it. Um, and try and hurry up and finish the other dog. If I get time, I'll do some bling for you. But in the meantime, that's where we're at for the pineapple trim. Sorry, sweetie, you'll get to go lay down in one minute. I know, one minute. So you can see some of my sizing, spacing issues. Hopefully you'll learn from me. <laughs> Paused. 